Hey guys, um, still feeling all electric and stuff, and I think the hardest part about it, um, well, the hardest part about anything that throws you off, any type of kind of mini healing crisis or a big healing crisis, where you just don't feel like yourself, you know? is that little voice wondering, am I ever going to feel better again? Um, and I think through every energetic or healing crisis you go through, that voice becomes quieter and quieter. Like like the first healing crisis you go through, that voice is really loud. You're, you're convinced it's permanent, like you're never going to feel better again. And then you get through it. And not only do you feel better, but you actually feel more peace than you ever have because the healing crisis actually cleansed you of so much fear. It cleansed you of a lot of worry. It, it cleansed you of, of the places where you were in doubt, of where you weren't trusting the divine, of where you weren't connected to faith, right? And then the next little healing crisis or energetic initiation comes and that voice comes up, but it's not as loud because you just had the previous you've already had the the experience of going through something similar and yeah so for me you know i've went through and if you've followed my journey at all i went through numerous uh difficult situations that have really tested my faith um and so i've i've you know i've had to confront this voice within me that's, uh, that has said, like, I've had to confront, confront this voice a lot. The voice that's like, oh, you'll, you'll never feel better. <laughs> this is gonna be like this forever. And so now I know in my bones that, like, that voice isn't true. Uh, but yeah, it's still very humbling you know, that's the point of a healing crisis, I think, is it, it still humbles you. I don't care how many you've been through or how rooted in faith you are or how much you trust. A healing crisis, anything that shakes you up, you know, anything that really shakes you up and is like really unexpected and, and every healing, it's like every time you go through something, it's a new flavor, right? It's something you haven't really dealt with before. I mean, you've dealt with being off center before. You've you've dealt with feeling off. You've felt you've dealt with not feeling good, not feeling like yourself before. But each new kind of challenge, it's got its own unique ways in which it kind of tests you, and ways in which it helps you to surrender the parts of you that still don't trust. And that's the point. It's like each new challenge is, is meant to shine a light on where you're still not sturdy in the divine, on where you're still convinced of things that aren't true, things that are rooted in fear. So yeah, like I was saying, each kind of initiation or healing crisis you go through, that voice that is saying, that voice that freaks out and says, this is going to be like this forever. This is permanent. We're never going to heal. That voice it's quieter and quieter and quieter till eventually my feeling is that voice is just never there's like no longer there anymore or it's just like a really muffled you know kind of you can barely even hear it and and I feel like that voice in me is getting to that point um it's like the divine knows how to make that voice as loud as it can be in you regardless of how far on the path you are. And so it's like, I, it's been a while since I've even heard that voice, to be honest. And so the divine's like, let's show them, let's show them how loud that voice can still be. That voice of doubt, that voice of fear, um, that voice of you're never going to feel your, like yourself again, right? And so it's so interesting how the divine does that. And, and it's always, like I said, it's humbling. It's like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, the voice is still there. But I can feel it in real time as I heal from this. You know, like I said, every energetic initiation you go through or healing crisis you go through dissolves that voice even more. 
and I can just feel and the other beautiful thing is on the other side of every healing crisis you feel more like yourself than ever you feel more rooted in peace than ever and so I can feel as I go through this one and I get to the other side of this little mini healing crisis I'm in just how I'll be even more deepened in the divine rhythm that's the thing that's that I've been feeling that's been the most difficult for me it's like I usually feel really connected to the this like divine rhythm the the rhythm of life you could say the rhythm this universal rhythm it's probably in a theta state or something and it's been interesting feeling my nervous system all worked up and just kind of like shaky and racy how I, I just haven't been able to connect to the divine rhythm as well in my body like there's something that's always here in my being that's just like always connected to it but I've been feeling in my body and on more of the less of the deeper levels of being how I'm I'm just not connected as much to that place and it's just it's just uncomfortable it's like not what I'm used to um you know it, it just feels like I said off and so I, I'm also understanding that as I go through this I'm having to first of all connect to the deeper depths of myself to to remain in that divine rhythm but also how there's going to be like a deeper connection to that divine rhythm once this is through because i've had to cultivate it through a healing crisis anytime you're going through a healing crisis you have to cultivate depth to heal that's the point is like the divine's like trying to help us cultivate depth and every healing crisis I've been through, I've had to go deeper inwards than ever. Um, I've just had a necessity to bring healing to my body, to my nervous system, to my mind, to my heart. And so at, on the, the beautiful thing is like I've been saying on the other side of a healing crisis is like that depth doesn't leave us. It's like, no, we're rooted into that depth now. So not only do we feel better, but we're living from a deeper depth. And I can feel that that's exactly what this healing crisis, this mini healing crisis, I hope, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I can feel that that's what's happening for me right now. It's like I'm connecting to a deeper depth within myself. And then once all these symptoms pass and I feel like myself again, I'm actually going to be living from a deeper depth. And like I said earlier, I'm going to feel more like myself than ever. Because I will have reconnected to parts of myself that have, are, are really deep within. That I wouldn't have been kind of forced to connect with if I wasn't going through something difficult right now. So yeah, that's what I'm going through. Um, it's been difficult, but it's nice to have an understanding of how these things move. Of uh, the purpose of these kinds of events in our life. Because I've been through, I don't even know, countless difficult um, scenarios like this, healing scenarios, uh, healing crises, crises, whatever. Um, so yeah, that felt good to say. Um, just making these videos actually helps me connect with this like divine rhythm, this place of being. And it actually brings healing to my system to make these videos for you guys and just sharing what's real. And so, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, and like always, I appreciate your financial contributions. Um, yeah, they, they really mean a lot to me. And uh, every time I see a donation come in, it just feels... Hmm, yeah, it just feels really good. And it feels like I'm being supported and that yeah that I'm offering value and that's always a sign to me that I'm offering value is just feeling um the energy come back in that way and so yeah I just uh want to say thank you guys for your financial support um it buys me raspberries and almond butter and honey and chamomile tea and it pays for me to have these clay walls around me and a roof over my head and yeah just sending you guys so many blessings and so much love i will see you in the next video
Namaste.